I've seen some suspicious Minecraft Steve gameplay. This man is suspiciously close to this wall and might be ready to forward smash it. So I wouldn't really mess with that personally. And he gets forward smashed anyways. People who do not know in Mexico, the only major they have, I think it happens like once a year around this time, around the summer, summer in Mexico, it's hot. And I'm not just talking about the temperature, I'm talking about that gameplay, of course. And uh, unfortunately, we have MKLeo losing to yet again another random Steve. Woo! And I love, of course, I, uh, I love critiquing Leo. There's nothing better than punching up. Is Manny really random? I have never heard of this guy until like yesterday. So, random. Steve's just one of those characters where like, you have to figure out the Steve player's specific bad habits in order to beat them. And even then, it's still very hard to do. Cause like, even though he has this 132% lead and he's playing extremely solid right now, it doesn't matter. Cause if you make like one miscalculation, you could get combo to kill percent. Or gimped. We've seen a lot of Steve zero to deaths. You have to like, if you want to beat like Steve players like on your first try, you really have to just like know what their whole spiel is before the game even starts. And even then, if they decide to mix up like a key part of their game plan, it could just it could just fall apart. You see what I mean? Like this is this is like a typical Joker game right now. Like th this. What I'm watching right now is super typical late meta Joker. People are so good at surviving nowadays that like Leo just did like 170 to this dude, like unanswered, 170% unanswered, and now he's like about to lose the stock first. Because if you make like one miscalculation, you could get combo to kill percent. Several many down tilts. The weird thing is Leo has fought and beat Manny before this. I believe it, yeah. Damn, rising down here like that, okay. He died pretty goddamn early. Right now he's trading a lot, which is kind of hard to avoid against Steve because his hitboxes are so egregious. And like, you have to be extremely precise to whiff punish with Joker, so that's gonna just be the hard part. Wow, what in the f That was really smart, actually. This is a top eight qualifier. That's insane. So this Manny, he actually also beat uh, Mute. Just crazy, because Mute. Last time I watched him fight a cola, he like kind of walked the dog on him. Like it was not close. And then he lost to Manny. Steve's tools outside of just pressing the B button are still insanely strong. Jeez, man, that is so much stuff covered. And I don't think Sour Spot Forward Air should do that, even if it is diamond. I don't know. That killed no questions asked. Arsene's broken, bro. I'd camp that shit too. What the heck? If I had Steve Block, I would use it against Arsene. This is insane. I hate that. I've seen some suspicious Minecraft Steve gameplay. This man is suspiciously close to this wall and might be ready to forward smash it. So I wouldn't really mess with that personally. And he gets forward smashed anyways. Wow, I hated that. So the side B hits the minecart here, and he got like nicked by it. So it's still doing the residual damage, but he because it didn't like put him in hits or anything, he just, he just won out that entire scenario. I think Mashy Steve is like super scary, especially when you're fighting, like when you're playing as Joker. Joker kind of thrives on conditioning his opponent to shield, and if you're just like not giving a damn about shielding and just mashing, and it's a good thing to do. The correct answer for dealing with like Manny's kind of like game plan as Joker is to probably just like do a lot of gun, and I mean a lot of gun. Oh my god. Dude, that that was a good parry, but played against Joker in a you know ever since like 2018 or whenever this came out, you know not to do that. Why did he drop Violet in this matchup? I don't know, I don't know actually. I don't know. I think he just wants to play Joker. I want him to go back to Byleth, man. Byleth's just hard to play. But like I feel like yeah, if if Leo like plays someone like this, who probably doesn't really know the matchup. 
and you know is is down with the scrap. Probably just play the buy off, man. Bro, get out there and back air him. No up air. Oh my god. I feel like you have our set in this situation. You just get out there and back air, man. Just just like short hop here and see what happens. You can on reaction back air minecart with Arsene in, at worst trade. Like this was really good. He still played it correctly, but he did the wrong follow up out of the down air. And now he's gonna lose the game. So this is fine, just play it slow. Get out, get out, leave, depart, run. <laughs> Dude. I hate how Leo be trying to fight in these situations, man. Just run. Yeah, I know. You're trying to play one of the most technically demanding and precise characters in the game, right? It's already hard to account for, like, you know, your opponent's, like, fall speed and, like, trying to get, like, openings and, like, only hitting your combo starters and stuff. That stuff is already really hard to do. And then Steve just introduces a f jungle gym to you and is like, okay. You must now hit Ford Air 1, but on extreme Dante must die difficulty, hell in hell. I don't I don't know. I would rather him play like Joker Aegis or like jo Joker Byleth. He could play three characters, he's very good. I think what he needs to do is just like play whatever character he'll have the most fun with. Because if he doesn't like I, Leo probably loves playing Joker against like You know like I, I don't know, most characters. But then there's like those few characters where risk reward isn't real. And it looks like this. And at that point, man, just just play Byleth, turn your brain off, pretend Smash isn't real, and we haven't been playing for the last five years. The magic is gone for the Byleth, man. I don't think he's enjoying Byleth that much anymore either. It's about my spectating enjoyment. Yeah. That happened like three times. I feel like there's a very clear flaw here. Yeah, that's a lot of people not cheering. Cosmos has been getting dunked on. He's been the butt of the joke for like the entirety of a year. So glad he's just been doing it. <laughs> he kept grinding and playing multiverses and now look at him. Cosmos says, see me in multiverses, kid. And then he started playing like it was multiverses. Spargo says this is Cloud's worst matchup. His worst matchup over Sheik? Really? If this is Cloud's worst matchup, why wouldn't he just like play the ditto? I don't know. I think Spargo should play Aegis. I don't understand the non believerness of Aegis. Dude, the fact that you can up be out of shield in there, I feel like it can't be that bad. I don't know. Nope. Okay. That seems pretty good. Uh, Ariel's out of shield, just denying any sort of pressure. Jump too close, you get swatted. That's why I don't like playing Cosmos with zero suit because he does that really really well if i try to like pressure with aerials he's usually on top of that i think that's like if cosmos like had a thing that set him apart from other players is that he he's very good at dealing with like aerial pressure it's a very weirdly niche thing to be good at but hey man i'm a zero suit player and the only thing that i got is aerial pressure also love to see spargo of all people f up that edge guard because i would have done the same thing Good forward air. Most players without access to their double jump here would probably just land with a nair. But he intentionally drifted to the left in forward air. That was really good. What I'm assuming is people think this is a super bad matchup for, for Cloud just because like most of Cloud's neutrals kind of just like mashing aerials until something works out. He just has a good enough dash attack to uh, circumvent that. I'm surprised he even wants to go pirate. I'll be honest. Down air, what? Punish. So good to just shield there. Look, like the grab was the predictable option in this situation. But right, I think here. And he just dashed and shielded. That was really good. I feel like he could have gotten a true punish there, but he just went for whatever that was on the fly and it worked out really well. Oh, this is really, really tough spot for Cosmos right there. He manages to survive. 
Mash down BW. Let's go. Oh, okay. wow. What a simple way to get the kill. Definitely every set that I've seen Spargo lose. Like, every time he gets upset, he gets killed in, like, this exact scenario where Spargo is just... He just wants to jump to center stage or just away from his opponent. Like, he just doesn't want to deal with ledge. And, like, like when I watch him fight her, it's, he does that so much. He just tries to jump over him. So much going on oh, right not the pyre now. grabs at high percent. The worst timing. <laughs> no text, bro. Is he looking for his Spargo? Is he looking for his And Zosmos gets it over Spargo. Love to see it. Look, like this was personal for Leo. I'm pretty sure Leo was sick of losing to Zamba. Why doesn't Zamba up beast all Arsene? You're normally better off just like hitting him. Also, like, up B has like a limited resource. If you like get punished while you're doing up B stall, like, say you use all your gas trying to stall, then uh, when you get hit off stage, you, you could just die. It's definitely an option. Oh, jeez. He's getting toasted. Oh. Oh. How greedy can you be? Rob died at 90 and then died at zero. Retribution! Payment for your cheese! Honestly, oh, Leo's reaction? Same. MK Leo could end this match right now. 22%, 119 on Samba. Samba can take it as well for 47%. Persona, Arsene, I mean, is on. Oh my god, this is not looking good for Samba. No, it's not at all. Arsene is about to be here. You let him dive away the battery. Back here off stage. And now, Snack, he's got Arsene. He's got the juggle. He's looking for any opening. Ah, oh, I just made it. Wait, what? He's got what happened? The juggle. Looking for any opening. Oh, <laughs> Backer just trades there. I mean, I guess Backer does start from the bottom, but dude, there's like no hit effect or anything. That was crazy. Is that the? I guess you can kind of see it. But that's still crazy that that even hits. Got his payback. Love to see it. Oh my god. I, I, I guess I will watch Grands, but why is it an hour and 15 minutes? Oh, no. I have been warned about Shiny Mark's playstyle. I knew it was cringe, but holy. I'll at least do 1.5. This is honestly comical. I'm just pointing her this way. I can, I can still process the information I see. But here we go. Our grand finalist for Smash Factor. We got Shiny Mark, the best Pikachu in the world as of right now. For sure, not close. And Sonics, the, uh, you know him. I, you should know Sonics. We, were, we really just didn't believe in Pikachu for like the longest time. Also, can we talk about who in the world Sonics is grabbing right now? So most of the time when I see Sonic's absolutely destroying somebody, he's hitting like a lot of up airs and converting like insane damage out of it. It's not really happening against Shiny Mark right now. Like on top of it just being kind of hard to hit Pikachu in general, he's like purposefully staying grounded. Or if he is doing like aerials, he's also doing them like rising too. So stuff like Nair will just stuff out the, the run up up air, for example. A really good T jolt. <clears throat> also, somebody asked earlier, like, why is Shiny Mark going for like a lot of ledge trumps? Because like, let's let's use this as an example. If you know that that is a fact that Shiny Mark is like setting up like a lot of ledge trumps, it forces you to pick an option, or else you just get ledge trumped and punished for it. So you're like conditioned to immediately pick an option. And if somebody knows the timing of what you're going to do, it, it makes it pretty easy to cover multiple options at once. Like right here, like he buffered a neutral getup. And I don't know what Shiny Mark was trying to read. Maybe he just mistimed this down here because it's supposed to cover neutral getup. This down here should have killed. Probably has enough time to cover roll as well. But he just has to time it perfectly. There you go. So I know part of the frustrations for this matchup is the fact that Pikachu can like go under the stage and like burn a lot of time off the clock. 
Kalos kind of eliminates that, but Kalos also, like, is the biggest stage ever and has the biggest blast zone ever. So it's also a camper's paradise. So this... Honestly, I don't think Pikachu's really got a bad stage looking at it like that. Step aside, Esam. There's a new best Pikachu in town. Could have gone for a jab block. Probably just tried covering multiple options with F tilt. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like jab would have just been better. Hindsight 2020, though. <clears throat> He's still on all of his stocks. Shouldn't have done a jump tech. Both of them, what a play That's for it. That's gonna be enough. Their Pikachu can deliver a lot of damage, but Sonic has been such a master. Damn, what? Smashing the out of it. Wow. Dude, so Spinesh is just good. Why is he not just spamming this all the time? The Look, he's just going through the thing. I don't know if that's like luck dependent or what, but maybe you can intentionally time it for when the T jolt goes up and around. But still. Very crazy play coming in from Shiny Mark. If he wants to make what the mother crowd in the last 20 or so seconds of this match, Sonic's ass is hardcore. Gotta kill him. Gotta kill him. Gotta kill him. These thunders are so scary. He could do okay. He's probably knew that he couldn't have died to thunder here. Actually, I don't know. I think Sweet Spot Thunder might kill here. Like, I'm honestly surprised he got hit by the sour spot. Like, the cloud hitbox is, like, pretty generous. Surprised that didn't just spike and kill him. Oh my god, dude. Like, he's tracking him perfectly, but there's, like, a lack of confidence with the option select here. Because look how he's just following him for both of those rolls. And he just, like... He, he must have, like, specifically wanted back air. Dude, if you ask me who wins this right now, I'd say Sonic's not close. Oh, sh Miscalculation. Is Pika down air at ledge that safe? Yeah, it's really good. It's super active, so if you try to, like, contest it, you might just run into it and die. Oh, this is a big conversion. No platforms to help him. And now he's winning. He actually got one, one Pikachu combo, and now he's winning. I wonder if the better thing to do there would have been to DI towards platforms so that he could try to SDI up and get above a platform. Because honestly, if like that, yeah, that that combo basically made Shiny Mark win this. No up air? That is crazy. Holy shit. This whole interaction was insane. Let me see. He gets hit, text, double jump back airs. That was sick. Yep, we're playing for time. That was a that was not a good dash tag. This <laughs> not good. How do you find that? Yeah, I look at chat and socks just get taken. Oh, he read the jump. That's good. That was scary. That was his only option onto the stage. I thought Sonic was about to SD. Oh, that's a good read. Dude, that combo on the second stock must sting hell hard right now. Pikachu is insanely strong. No grab? I feel like Grab could have netted him more damage, but... Dude, another dropped combo. That could have sent him off stage. No Grab? I would never roll. You would never catch me rolling there. Timeout against the timeout king himself. 
Very well done. Honestly, a lot of throws from Sonics. Like, I think Shiny Mark played pretty well. Played very solidly. Didn't really do anything outstanding. Pikachu busted, exactly. 